Hey designers, welcome back to Drafix. Today I'll show you four quick and easy methods to transform your color photos into stunning monochrome masterpieces. Let's get started. I will create three copies of this image and rename them for easy demonstration. The first method to convert to black and white is to desaturate the image. Add an HSL adjustment layer above the image. And in the HSL tab, decrease the saturation to negative 100% using the slider. As you can see, the cube becomes black and white, but it doesn't look that great. The second method is to use layer blending. Draw a rectangle above the image. Make the rectangle color either white or black. Then change the blending mode to color. This output looks much better than the desaturated image. The third method is to use a gradient map adjustment. Add a gradient map adjustment layer above the image. Then change the colors in the gradient map. Change red to black, blue to white. Then you can delete the mid green color. This output looks exactly similar to the blending method. You can add a gray color in the middle and change its position to make it look better. You can see adding gray color in the middle makes it better than the previous method. The fourth method is to use the black and white adjustment layer. Add the adjustment layer above the image. In the adjustment tab, you can see different color sliders. You can play with the sliders to customize the black and white effect. For this image, I will decrease red, green, yellow, cyan, and blue colors to get a better black and white image. Feel free to play with these sliders for the best output. Let's place these four images and see which one looks better. In my opinion, both images produced with gradient map adjustment and black and white adjustment look much better than the other two methods. Which method is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more graphic design tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.